Here are the materials you are going to need for this project. For acrylic paint, we are going to be using blue, black, and white. You'll also need some paint brushes, a paper towel, and some water, as well as a rock that you can pick up from the library or outside. Notice this rock isn't smooth or flat. It doesn't need to be. We're going to get started with putting some black paint on the top. We're going to blend the black only on the top half of the rock because later we'll blend it with blue. When adding blue, I would use a larger brush bigger than a fine tip to blend this out. And here I'm adding more blue. The rock is supposed to have an ombre effect with the darker color of black on top. I mixed more blue than necessary to achieve a dark blue effect over the entire rock. Once you achieved your desirable color of dark blue with black at the top, do not wait for your rock to dry. We are going to get some white paint and paint the bottom of the rock. Using quick light brush strokes, paint left to right to blend the white onto the dark blue. Here at the top, I'm mixing out the black so it's not so strong. Now the whole rock has a nice shade from dark to light. After letting your rock dry, now we are going to get some white paint and paint the lower third of the rock. This is going to be the foreground, where your snow and trees will be. Now let your rock dry so we can repaint the snow layer. Once you achieved your desired density of white, let your rock dry and we will begin painting with our thin point brush and our black paint. We're going to begin painting evergreen trees. You can paint them wherever you want on your rock.
going to add another tree behind this tree. It's okay if it just looks like a blob. We'll get into details later. Now we're going to begin painting another tree. We're going to start at the base of the trunk and go up. It's okay if the branches are slanted off the rock or it's not flat. You'll still be able to see it. Once you feel like you are done with your tree, leave it to dry and then take our thin point brush and begin painting the white snow on the evergreen trees and the bare tree. Now we begin painting our snowflakes. The lighter you push, the smaller the snowflake is going to be. So if you push harder, you'll have a bigger snowflake. Now I'm going to use this paint pen, which has a very thin tip, and I will use that to make the rest of the snowflakes. Underneath the tree, the colors are a bit gray, so instead of painting that over with white, I'm going to take some black and create illusions of snow. So I'm going to take some white and fix up this black spot. Make sure it's dry before you do this or else you'll have gray.
Our painting cannot be complete without a name and a date, either in the bottom right hand corner of your rock or on the back. preserve your rock and its colors, take a clear spray varnish, spray your rock outside at least 12 inches away, and wait for it to dry. You'll notice it'll still be glossy, and it will be ready to display. It also makes for a great stocking stuffer.